This is the kind of hinge I've installed to the box I made in a previous video. Then to install those hinges I align both parts of the box. I put the hinges in the outside of the box and I measure so both hinges are at the same distance from the sides of the box. Now I move that hinge until that leaf of the hinge is on the line that separates both parts of the box. And very carefully, making sure I don't move the hinge, I make a mark to each side of the hinge. Like this, I make both marks in both parts of the box. And I do the same with the other hinge. I must remember that the lines are in the outside of the hinges, so when I cut the mortises, I shouldn't cut the lines. Now I will use my table saw sled, and I have to set the height of cut. Then here I have one hinge, and when I close it, the leaves are this thick. But when I put the screws, that part will be as thick as the knuckle. So the height of cut must be half that thick. And after some trial and error, I get the height of cut I need to cut the mortises to fit the hinges. So now I put the lid of the box in the sled, and I want to cut here in the back of the box, but making sure I won't cut in the front of the box. So if the maximum height of cut is more or less here, if I push the sled just to this position, I know I won't cut the front of the box. So to be sure I won't move the sled beyond this point, I need something to stop it. Now I have to set the lid so the disc is beside the line and between both marks. I don't want to cut the line. And I cut. And now I set the lid so the disc is beside the other mark. And I cut. And I do the same in the marks in the other side of the lid. And now I make several cuts to get rid of the wood between the marks. I make sure the hinge leaf fits and I finish the mortise in the other side of the lid. And I do the same to cut the mortises in the part of the box that goes below the lid. Now I use a flat file to flatten the bottom of the mortises. Maybe there is some technique to do this. I just check from time to time that I'm not getting a tilted surface.
Now I don't want that edge of the hinge to be in the inside of the box, so I will use this wooden block to align that edge with the inside surface of the box. And I drill the guide holes I need to insert the screws, but sometimes I am not very precise when drilling directly inside the holes in the leaf. It is better to use a nail to mark the center of the hole. Then I use a hammer to make a deeper mark. I make sure the marks are centered in the holes. And now, when I put the drill bit inside the marks, I am sure I will drill in the right position. The bit won't move to the sides. Now I can screw the hinges in the mortises. And if I have worked with precision, the lid will be perfectly aligned with the other part of the box. Thanks for watching. If you like this technique, don't forget to click like and share. In the description of this video, you can find a link to watch how I made the meter joints wooden box. And in my channel, you can find all my woodworking and DIY videos. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.